A man who's been drinking since noon Tuesday. <laughs> Your friend, my friend, the rock and roll garbage man, Rob Debris. I don't remember that story, but I'm sure I've said no a bunch of times. <laughs> All right. Anybody here do Sober October? You did not. That's a dumb question. I did Sober October. Wow. All right. Kind of Sober October. I did Soberish Octoberish. It was more like slightly less hammered than normal October, and I realized that doesn't rhyme. But in my defense, I was hammered, so. About three days into sober October, I woke up. I had to elbow the dirty clothes out of the passenger side of the bed. I've been divorced for a while. Uh, and I realized there is a difference between falling asleep and passing out. Fairly profound difference. Falling asleep looks like, oh, oh, oh. I'm sleepy. I think I'm gonna go to sleep now. Passing out. Kinda goes like this. Sometimes you lean a little before you go down, but mostly you just go down. And I gotta tell you, waking up, you don't get to wake up when you pass out. You get to come too. And it goes like this. And you gotta figure out several things immediately. One, what time is it? What am I late for? Nighttime, daytime, was that a nap? Was that sleeping? What was that? And then finally, who do I have to apologize to? If you're lucky, and some of you are in the room, if you're lucky, it's just a couple of phone calls, you know what I mean? You can do it privately. I'm like, really sorry about the thing that it was blah, 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 blah. But when you, when you really mess up, here's the thing. If you can get by with a couple of phone calls, that's perfect. When you have to apologize on Facebook, sorry, John. When you have to apologize on Facebook, that means you did the math. You, <laughs> all right, I can make 97 phone calls, or ooh, ooh, I'll just do it on Facebook. Now that first bit, that was about me. That's me making fun of myself. Because I'm a 50-year-old white male, and I get to make fun of me and 50-year-old white males. That's what I got. By the way, isn't somebody celebrating a 50th birthday? Do we have a 50th birthday out here? Congratulations. Midlife crisis. Just around the corner, brother. And also, Edgar Winter. You look great, man. Frankenstein is one of my favorites. No, seriously, I can make fun of Edgar Winter. I can make fun of this guy because he's a 50-year-old white male unless you walk with a limp. In which case, I can't make fun of you either. But I got a buddy. He's Mexican. He's vaguely Mexican. He doesn't really look Mexican, but he swears he's Mexican. His wife doesn't believe it, though. She says, I don't think you're Mexican. He's like, my name's Maldonado. How can I not be Mexican? So for his birthday, she gave him the 23 and me. So he spits in the cup, he sends it out. Turns out, he's Mexican. <laughs> About 12%. He's Mexican adjacent. He's kind of Mexican, but he's also 2% Northern African. Angola, Somalia, some, I don't know, where. Doesn't matter, African and 2% Jewish. He is Jewish, black, and Mexican. He's a jew black -sican. Let me tell you something. If you're jew black -sican, you make fun of anybody. It doesn't matter. Only thing better is if you had Tourette's. You can, you can you have some cards printed up. I'm jew black -sican and I have Tourette's. You can get away with anything. It's tough in the Me Too era. I don't want to get Me Too, you know what I mean? Uh, I've been divorced six, seven years. It's hard for me to approach a woman because what if I'm awkward around women? I went on Tinder. 
First girl I matched with on Tinder was Canadian. I don't have a passport. I can't go to Canada. <laughs> she does not travel to the United States on a regular basis. But I'm a thinker. And I suggested, given the fact that Glacier Waterton National Peace Park is half an America and half a Canadian, I said, hey, we could meet on the border. No response. No response. No response. No response. And then I realized I just asked a total stranger to meet me in the middle of the woods. That's not sketchy. No, it seems legit. And then the next girl I matched with on Tinder, I corrected uh, the grammar in her profile. This also is a misstep. Uh, what I actually did, she had a word in her profile that I was pretty sure was a made-up word. Species. Or specious. Depending on what part of the country you're from. And I'm like, hey, I noticed you made up a word in your profile. I think I know what you were going for, but that is a made-up word. <laughs> Response? Not a great way to make a first impression. And then an instant, we're not a match anymore. The funny thing is, about six months later, I got to thinking, hey, I wonder if that's really a word. <laughs> so I looked it up, turns out it is. So if you're here tonight, I apologize. I apologize. No, it's difficult. It's difficult to approach women. But then I realized, and I don't know how old all you guys are, but the hashtag, that used to be a pound sign. <laughs> and the pound me too movement, that's a movement I think I could get behind. I am blue. This is a free space. I get to say whatever I want. No, I got kids. Anybody here have kids? Anybody here have three kids specifically? Middle kid an asshole? Anytime you have three kids, and it's usually a phase. I actually kind of like the kid now, but he's been an asshole for a long time. When they were kids, I used to play M&M for them. Which is tough because my wife made me find uh, bleeped versions. For the first 10 years of their lives, my children thought rap went like bleepity bleep bleep sweater on your spaghetti already bleep 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 bleep. They've now reintroduced me to rap. Rap is crazy. In the olden days, when I listened to rap, Ice-T, Eminem, those guys, they would allude to gangster shit, but they didn't tell you where they hid the gun. Now, in rap, it's not legitimate rap unless you use actual details from the crimes you've committed. <laughs> Murder on my mind? <laughs> yeah. I had the gun at 22nd in Lexington. I bet you could find that shit right now for fun. If, if I was in the crew, I'd be like, dude, maybe you don't give the actual location of the gun. Maybe you just work around it a little bit. Like, you know, pretend you don't have to give the actual details of the crime. In the 70s, classic rock, they used to talk about all that crazy shit too, but they used code words. Innuendo. Apparently innuendo doesn't fly anymore. You just throw it out there. I'll tell you where I hit the body. <laughs> Unbelievable. Pregnant pause. What's he gonna say next? Honestly, I don't know. I've been, making, I've been making notes. I've been writing down on my phone for like about six, eight months. And sometimes you wake up in the middle of the night and you go to uh, write a thing down. Do you know that paper? So you grab your phone, you start tippity-tappity, but you've been asleep for four hours. You're going to sleep for three more hours. And you wake up in the morning and look at it. It made no sense. It made no sense at all. It's like a random series of words. And I'm like, oh, last night, I thought that was funny. 
I wonder. I wonder. I mean, I could read some of them for you. Fact is, if comedy doesn't work out, I'm also an inventor. No, it's not funny yet. I'm also an inventor. Uh, I invented a miniature $20 bill for dick pics. You know, for scale. But during product testing, I realized, wow, this miniature $20 bill make, makes my hand look huge. So then I had to invent a miniature hand to hold a miniature $20 bill. $49.95, it's available on the website. Uh, no, seriously. <laughs> a little bit more about myself. I don't know what I believe. I don't know what I believe. I think one of the signs of intelligence is the ability to change your mind. And opposable thumbs. Those are huge. <laughs> if somebody convinces me of something else, I'll believe that thing. And then I'm, you know, up, back and forth and back and forth. <sighs> I miss Old Testament God. I miss the lightning bolt. Give me the lightning bolt. Let me tell you something. If I was God, three well-placed lightning bolts, Hitler, Mussolini, I don't know, your uncle, pick whoever, how many people do you think would disbelieve? This many. Bring back Old Testament God. I don't know how I feel about Jesus, but I have heard the Carrie Underwood song, Let Jesus Take the Wheel. Don't let Jesus take the wheel. There weren't even any cars back then. I'll guarantee you this, if Jesus came back today, he would be a shitty, shitty, shitty driver. Listen, JJ, can I call you JJ? That's the third Hyundai this week. You gotta stop driving a car into the lake. We realize you can walk on water. The Hyundai, not so much, they're getting expensive. I think I'm out. I think I'm out of time. Bad. All right, I'm out of jokes. What's the same? What? Do you want one more? You want one more? <sighs> there is a huge. There's a huge island of plastic floating in the Pacific. I read a study one time. I read about a study. I don't actually read the studies. It's a lot of words. <laughs> But if you took the entire history of the planet Earth and compressed it into one day, 24 hours, human beings first would enter the picture at about 11.58 p.m. Like it'd be all lava and shit until about 4.30 in the afternoon. I got dinosaurs penciled in for 6.45. We showed up at 11.58. And for at least the first minute of that, we hadn't invented a diesel engine. We hadn't even invented the wheel. So now we're done. 11 59 22. Somebody invented the internal combustion engine. Now we're down to about 28 seconds. And we still managed to fuck it up. <laughs> now, California did their part, got rid of those crazy plastic straws. <laughs> and now I understand Corona is coming out with a six pack where the cans actually screw together. Like, one on top of the other. It's a six pack, but it's this tall and that big around. How long do you think it's gonna be before the first redneck sword fight? First corona fight? <laughs> Way to go. Way to go, corona. They wanted to get rid of the, 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 the plastic rings. End up around a dolphin's neck six months from now. Nobody wants that. I get it, but I think I think we're making a mistake. Legalize hemp. Everything that you could conceivably make from plastic, you can make from hemp. That's right, you get stoned as the bejesus belt on that shit at the same time. <laughs> hemp, that's the secret. Legalize hemp and cocaine. <laughs> oh, wait, no, hold on. Did I say that out loud? I meant to think that. Oh. Uh, in fact, save the planet right now. Well, first of all, remove all the warning labels. 
Let me tell you something. You go to Home Depot and you buy a ladder and that ladder says, don't put this ladder in your anus. <laughs> that means somebody put that ladder in their anus. And then sued the company that made the ladder and now you gotta deal with a warning label. Let me tell you something. Darwin is pissed. Anyway, I can fix the planet. All we gotta do is figure out how to turn plastic into hemp. I realize it's like modern day alchemy. I don't think it can be done, but dude, we got scientists doing studies about how many people believe in ghosts versus how many people have an escape plan from their house in case of a fire and how many people actually are preparing for a zombie apocalypse. And the bad news for you, zombie apocalypse in the lead. <laughs> But if we could turn out, if we could figure out how to turn plastic into hemp, what a beautiful world this would be. Although we wouldn't know it because we'd all be stoned as shit. Alright, that is all the time I have. Thank you very much, you guys. You have been uh, a pleasure. It has been an honor. And uh, the stock is one of the best. You're gonna love this cat. Ladies and gentlemen, give a big round of applause to Rob Capri! Well, that was a lot of fun there, Rob. Apparently, you people have had a lot of alcohol tonight. Because you laughed a lot. All right, we have one more comedian for you, and this guy is internationally known, meaning he's told jokes in Canada before. He has been in the biz for quite a long time. I'm gonna say 25 years or so. 